What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Here we are in our Viper 379 389 custom truck. Um, Peter was having problems with it, one of my viewers. Um, I actually downloaded the latest version, which works with 1.32. Hopefully, we'll see what happens here. Um, I bought in our current profile, um, Mr. Me, which is the one I've been using since uh, I realized that with new versions, you don't have to switch over profiles. <laughs> um, that was probably about a year ago, actually. So um, we are in the latest version, 1.32. 2.3 I believe it is um, we can get all our trailers we don't have to use our other profile which has like um, I don't know I want to say like four billion dollars or something crazy like that so we are in our current profile uh, I believe we owe a lot of money to the bank yes we do probably pay back um, let's see we got 244,000 now we got 153. Now we got 62. I'm going to leave it at that because I can't pay anything else back. Um, but yeah, here we are at Walmart in Tucson. And we're going to show low with furniture. But first, I got to back up my truck and load it up. So that's what we're going to do first. Get back in our truck. Put it in reverse. I could probably put it, excuse me, probably put it in reverse high. And then take off our parking brake. Slowly bring it back here. Watch our let me see. Probably do this view. You guys like to see this view, it is a lot easier for me. Bring it back. Nope, nope, nope. Forward. And get back. Let's see how close we can get to here about oh, so much. Yeah, we're right at the door. That's awesome. Alright, so put our parking brake on, turn off the engine. And then I believe we hit enter. Are we too far? Wait. The engine is stopped. It's already stopped. What do you want me to do? This this can get sometimes confusing. Might be too far back actually. No? Alright. Alright, so this seemed like I had to come forward a little bit. It's a little buggy. But they're probably working it out. Alright, so our cargo's been loaded. Turn off our flashers here. Just because they're annoying me. Um, so we got... 37,537 pounds of furniture. I'm going to show low, as I said before. We have 10 hours remaining to do the job. Otherwise, it'll be late. It'll dock money off of our... Off of our deal there. That's not what I wanted. Start our truck. It's, that's on. It's on it. It wants us to go. It wants us to go. Which way are we going? Oh, we're going left out of here. Okay, I thought we were going right. That's what happens when you're outside view. I don't need another job offer, pal. 
turn off our flashers if we got it already. There is a lot of traffic. Not so much from that way, but from this way. Get off the phone, woman! There's a T800, I believe, or a T600. Crazy mouse movement, but in order for me to get the shot like this, I have to move the mouse around quite a bit. All right, let's get back in our truck. That looks pretty good right there. Let's get back in our truck here. Get ready for this U-turn up here. I never can stay in our lane. doesn't really change it that much, but I'd rather be in a lower gear than be in a higher gear. Get off the phone, woman! Alright, slow it down a little bit. We don't need to slow down that much. Put it five low. Can't really see through our back. Through the back mirror, it's not that light. I mean, it's dark out. Seem to get it pretty good there. Staying in our lane. I think this guy's waiting for us. Yeah. Waiting for traffic. One of the two. Uh -huh. Prius behind me. I understand. Got to get back into this view. Oh. Seems like I haven't played forever, but I haven't played in about two days, but. Every time there seems to be an update, it just changes everything for me. We don't weigh that much, but skipping gears, I'm not going to be able to do. But we do weigh quite a lot, we're 37,000 pounds plus our truck, which isn't a lot, but. If I were to go from 5 to 7, it would probably be uh, a little too much. That was way too high. Probably could have went into 5. We're good there. We're good there. It's a little too low. I probably could have just went through all the gears, especially going uphill, but we'll see what happens here. Um, I did have to take out quite a few mods. Um, and I'll go over that once I can fully tell you guys instead of tell you pieces and pieces and pieces until I and finally start to concentrate on where I'm going. I've been doing that a lot lately. Like I was talking about my radiator a few days ago. It took me about, or my coolant system, it took me quite a, quite a while to get that out of my mouth. This guy's going straight. Yeah, see I'm going through all the gears right now. depends on the load size. And since we are not in... Come back soon. You got it. Since we are not in 131 anymore, I'm assuming a lot has changed. Um, they added some road roads. They added a new city to Arizona, which is Clifton, Arizona. Um, so we haven't discovered that yet. Um, and then... What else is there? So they added like three new highways to California, a couple of new highways to Arizona, and a 
or roadways. I don't know what you guys call them. I call them. Let me get into a higher gear here. Not so loud. Not that if that really did anything. Get off the phone! So yeah, they added quite a lot of stuff to the game. Um, I didn't... That's cruise control, I don't need that right now. So yeah, they added a bunch of highways and stuff, which you can probably look at at the end of this run here. And I'll show you the uh, the new the new uh, city Clifton. It's on the border. It's kind of north of, I want to say, San Simon area. Um, I'll get into that. Am I in control? No. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm using the latest version of uh, Viper 38 or Viper's 389 mod, 379, 389 mod. Um, there was a 2.2, or 2.1, and then there was 2.2, and then there was 2.2 for 1.32, if you could, you know, it's a lot of two numbers, but, um, yeah, they, they, they added the, the, the recent Viper mod when 1.32 came out for beta. That's when they added the latest Viper mod, so... If you don't have that one, uh, the Viper trucks won't work for your game. So, Peter, you probably have to update your mod. And it's there in the Steam Workshop. Um, it, it'll be around the one point through one point, I don't know why I can't say three. 1.32 beta testing trucks. Like they have the FLD 120 and they have the International 9800, which is the beta test. Right around there you'll see um, when Viper added his latest mod. It's a little bit confusing. I can't say three and I can't say two. No. <laughs> so we're heading down these little back roads. We're not on any highways. We're on these, I guess you'd call them highways. I don't know what you'd call them. Smaller roads. Um... I would call them highways. Accident up here, or pulled over vehicle. One of the two. Yeah, pulled over vehicle. Oh, and they're out talking. That's new. Uh, normally, we wouldn't see pedestrians. We just see a accident. We just see vehicles. So they did add. There's a mod to put people on benches. Too slow here. There's a mod to put people on benches so there's no empty benches. Um, yeah, that's cool and all, but I think it's just going to take away from the frame rate, uh, adding in a bunch of people. That's good for some things, but for this game, this game's frame rate is... Um, it's hard to keep it... Uh, you know, in the mid-range frame rate without losing way too many and um, having it crash the game. Oh, way too high. I was going like two miles an hour and I put it in too low and that was still too high. Weird. Get off the phone, woman. How about that idea? And then as far as mods, uh, I didn't use my blinker. Um, as far as mods go, I had to remove a bunch of headlight range mods, um, headlight ranging mods, and uh, overalls, just brighter lights by Franken64. That's why uh, my dash is kind of like extra glowy. Um, I was using brighter lights and it was kind of not so glowy, but 
for some reason it's super glowy right now, or maybe that's just on my side. We'll see when, uh, it comes, when it, it, we'll see what happens when I de uh, encode it and upload it, if that goes away, but I don't think that's going to happen, but knock on wood, maybe it will. Um, so brighter lights, headlight range. Uh, I removed a bunch of trailer stuff because I knew that was going to break. I mean, that already broke in our other uh, version. Um, 30 miles an hour, we're going 44. Slow down a little bit. I still haven't changed our steering wheel. I mean, that's been going on forever. Um, our steering wheel has been has been like that forever and I just haven't thought to go and change that um, and that's on all my uh, Viper trucks all my 379, 389 has the graphic gloss on the steering wheel and I've, I've always talked about it I just never changed it I don't know why but we're going to slow down a bunch here Really, a bunch of crazy roads. I've been looking for a 1970, 1970s. I don't know what year it was, but 1970s W9 Kenworth W900A model. Um, the one that was the one that was used in uh, Smokey and the Bandit. Um, I did watch a couple of those when I was younger. Um, I don't really know much about it as far as characters go and what whatnot, but I mean, I know like the snowman and the bandit and all that stuff, but um, I think that's all there was. And the dog, I forgot his name, Buddy or something like that. Um, but I don't know like the entire show. I probably just watched a couple episodes. But even when watching a couple episodes, you kind of want that truck, and I kind of want to get that truck. I just haven't found a stable mod for it. This is too high. If I run it high here, so high. Gas station in the middle of nowhere. That's cool. I don't remember this route. I believe I took the last time I took this route was um, when I was ill. All right. Okay. It's calling me. It's Instagram. No problem. Um. Yeah, the last time I took this route was when I was sick. I was stuck behind like a bus or a slower truck. And I had just got back from surgery last February, I want to say it was. I don't think it was this February. I think it was last February. Um, but I really remember this route because we were going like this speed, 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. We were stuck behind a truck. But even, even now, since we got this, we got a pay attention to our trailer and our truck because we don't want to damage either of them anymore because now that they're ours uh, not only will they deduct not only will we have to will they deduct money but they will for a, obviously a damaged load but we will have to pay out of our own pockets to fix the trailer. I only got two trailers for this one, same as my other um, profile, but I got the this dry van, a 53-footer with the tandems closer to the front, and I got a flatbed with the tri with the wheels all the way in the back, 53-footers, both of them. I might I might get a 48-footer. Um, 40, I don't know about 28s, um, I might get them, I don't know, I might get them for my drivers, but I, I just don't have the money right now, as you guys saw, we were paying back all the loans for all the trucks that I was getting, 
So, let's see, we got 41 miles on this highway. I would call this a highway, and then I would call everything else a freeway. Um, I know in, like, the Midwest, the highways are the highways. The highways are the freeways. They don't, ha they don't call highway, they don't call, they don't use the word freeway in the Midwest. They use, they say highway. Out where I'm from, highways are very small roads like these ones heading up to desolate towns. Sound happening there. It goes from like my left speaker to my right speaker. Uh, still going 37 miles an hour. In a 65 mile an hour zone. They should have like little pull out areas so you can pull out and let the traffic by. We're still kind of going uphill, but we're gaining. Hey, I did that without touching the clutch. A little bit of grinding. I floated that gear. A little bit of grinding, but I don't always like to float my gears because I'm always so far off in RPM range. You think I've been playing this game for so long I'd be pro at it? No, nope, not even close. Um, um, I do tend to use my... I, I don't tend to float gears very often. I'm trying to get used to it, but I want to get used to it when I'm not recording as opposed to recording and you guys constantly hearing the grinding of gears. Um, so, yeah, I gotta practice that up a little bit. Coming up here on our delivery. I just gotta remember not to hit T and unload my trailer because it's my trailer. I've only done that, I think, once. It's like a newbie thing. Alright, so yeah, we're headed into Sholo. Speed's gonna drop. stuff. Alright. The diner, of course. Make sure there's no oncoming traffic. Oops. I didn't swing at all for this one. Gotta go. Just looking. Where's it at? Oh, it's right up against the wall. Alright. Alright. Let's not hit the wall. Like that trailer's movement. moves around. I mean, I think that's been doing that forever, but... Alright. Let's do outside view. Just for this episode. Unless you guys always want to see it. I know Peter mentioned he liked it.
slowly heading in here. Uh, way too far. <laughs> way too far. Hey, if that was going to be where I needed to go, that would be perfect. Nope. Probably should head back out this way again. Try that again. You don't like that? Oh, it's not green anymore. <laughs> green? Green. Yeah, it was that whole deal. It doesn't like to be all the way up against the... Like, I like it to be touching the wall, but... Let's drop it off. Excellent. 202 miles, 6 hours, 58 minutes, 40.3 gallons consumed. Ten thousand seven hundred and fifty three dollars and four hundred and sixty one XP. And we could check like the current job offers that leave from here and see a bunch of that. So that's cool that they added that. Instead of having to go back to the manhole cover to to look for jobs, you can actually do it from there. So that's cool. And then so I'll show you this. So they added Clifton right here. Uh, you can, it's right above San Simon, so it's right in the middle of nowhere. Um, if we went th if we went east and then made a right on the 191, when we got off the 191, we would be in New Mexico. So it's right here. And then they added, I want to say this 60 is new. Possibly this road. I think these roads were here, and I, we just never went to them. But I think the 60 is new because of this new city here. I don't think you were able to go. I think the only place places you were able. No, wrong button. I think the only places you were able. Oh, so the 160. You're able to go from here into New Mexico. Obviously, you take the 40 and take the 10. So they added the 60 and they added the 64, possibly the 191, the 491. They added a bunch of highways. Um, I think the 95 was here. I don't, I'm not too sure. They added the 190 and this part of the road here. Um, this one has been here. I just haven't been able to find a route. I don't know about this road either. I don't know why you would travel all the way up to the border unless we had, well, wait, yeah, when Oregon comes, though 95 is going to be useful. So I shouldn't talk about that one. Um, yeah, you'll just have to compare the last map to the new map and <clears throat> excuse me see which ones obviously this the 191 is new the 60 is new this prob this part of the 191 the 64 and the 160 up here are new so yeah what's down here 529 that's probably new um so 
So yeah, we're driving this single cab. I wanted to get a shorter version of this truck. I wanted to make one in the future, but or I want to make one in the future, a shorter version, because this is like the extended longer one. But we just don't have the money right now, and I don't really feel like pulling out loans. So we'll see what happens from there. Wow, that was super loud. So we got our we got our truck, our trailer now. I'm gonna take it somewhere else. Probably take a job from here in the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button. It really does help me out. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.